Hello, it's your boy Nicavelli on Nicavelli TV. Make sure you like and subscribe at the end of this video. Now, I'm here to talk about Joaquim Noah and how he got over like a fat rat on the New York Knicks. That's right, Joaquim Noah got over like a fat rat on the New York Knicks. Nicavelli's gonna get into it. Now, back in the 2013 2014 season, Joaquim Noah was the man when he was healthy. That's right. He was one of the best centers in the NBA, y'all, as he averaged 12 points, 11 rebounds, 5 assists, 1 block, and 1 steal per game. But since he's been with the New York Knicks for the last two seasons, some might say everything went downhill for Jakeem Noah. He was prone to a lot of uh, surgeries, drug suspensions, injuries, you know, and he only scored 12 points the entire season out of playing only seven games under Jeff Harnasak. Now we all know Joaquin Noah and Jeff Harnasak bum heads had a nasty altercation and Noah was MIA as he left the garden and went naked into the woods, y'all. Looked like an episode out of the Survivor Series. We didn't know where Noah was at. It was just a nasty ordeal. But once again, Noah got over like a fat rat on the New York Knicks. I'm going to explain why. Because although he only played seven points, I mean seven games, y'all, and he averaged 12 points, he only had 12 points, he still took home a salary that consists of $17,765,000. That's a whole lot of money just to be playing seven games and only score 12 points. Now, if you was to average that, that's $1.5 million per point out of the 12 points, y'all. Joaquin Noah got over like a fat rat. Now, once Jeff Harnasak left and he heard that Coach Fisdell will be the head man in charge for center of the New York Knicks, Joaquin Noah comes out the woods, y'all. Uh, he shows his face to the Knicks organization as he tries to patten up and fix the broken bridge between him and the front office. Front office ain't trying to hear that. They saying, oh, hells no. How we know you ain't going to be MIA again? One shit don't go your way, no? Hmm? How we know that? We don't know that. We, not, we can't take that risk, y'all. So they're going to part ways with the young man. That's right. Coach Fisdell got a youth pool, and he don't want no toxic energy going towards training camp. Hmm? We all know Noah's going to be in his feelings. So they got to let this man go, man. It would be wise to let Joaquin Noah go. And to add insult to injury, <laughs> the Knicks just signed another Noah. Huh? <laughs> Yo, let me tell you something, boy. You got to roll with the punches, baby. But I will say this, man. The good thing about this, right, is that it would give additional playing time to Mitchell Robinson once Joaquin Noah is out of here. That's the only good thing, because once again, Joaquin Noah got over like a fat rat concerning the New York Knicks, because even though he's parting ways with the Knicks, the Knicks still will owe that man $37 million, y'all. And they got to come up with that money within the 2019-2020 season. And they better hurry up and do so if they want to have that extra $12 million towards the salary cap. With that being said, it's your boy Nick Avelli. Make sure you like and subscribe to Nick Avelli TV. Peace. I'm out.